This video will describe how to insert a loaded cartridge into the Seahorse XFE96 to perform an extracellular flux assay. The manual operation of the Seahorse XFE96 has been designed to be easy to use for anyone familiar with other 96 well based plate readers. After opening your protocol and XF wave, first allow the machine to reach its temperature set point. Before inserting your XF cartridge, make sure that the lid is removed. If the lid is left on the plate, the fiber optic probes within the machine will be crushed into the plate lid, causing serious damage to the XFE96. When you're ready to begin your experiment, start the assay via the XF Wave software. You will be asked to define where the data will be saved. The tray will then eject automatically and the software will prompt you to insert your cartridge. The cartridge must be inserted into the XFE96 in the orientation shown. With well A1 at the back left of the tray, the blue plate orientation arrow at the front left, and the cartridge barcode along the right hand side of the tray. The plate must be in this orientation for the XFE96 to be able to read the barcode. The machine will not begin an assay without reading a valid cartridge barcode. After inserting your cartridge into the tray, click the prompt in the software and the tray will automatically close. The machine will then run some validation steps to check it is correctly sensing oxygen and pH. This will take roughly 20 minutes. Following this period of validation checks, the software will prompt you to insert the cell plate. Click the on-screen prompt and the tray will eject automatically. However, it will only contain the utility plate. The loaded cartridge will be held inside the machine. Note the orientation of the utility plate with the corner arrow at the front left of the tray. To insert your cell plate, first remove the utility plate which can be disposed of. Before inserting the cell plate into the tray, Again ensure the lid has been removed to prevent damage to the XFE96. With the lid removed, insert the cell plate into the tray with the same orientation as the utility plate with the plate orientation arrow towards the front left of the tray. Click the prompt in the software and the tray will then close and the assay will begin automatically. Once the assay is finished, a software prompt will appear to eject the tray and remove the cartridge. The top part of the cartridge can then be disposed of, while the cell plate can be used for further experiments such as normalization assays. In the event of a fault, the XFE96 can be stopped by opening one of the two side doors. The machine will not operate until the doors are fully shut. The machine can be opened from either side. However, in the event of a fault that requires an emergency stop, please contact the Faculty Technical Support.